another view of your data is the uh, indicator overview and this just presents all the indicators that you're accountable for uh, in a very simple uh, dashboard and you can the idea here is every month you go through and just click and say that you have acknowledged that particular month's data again if you want to you can add commentary or read commentary from this space here so they are some some of the examples of our more sophisticated dashboards the Stratix live solution comes with a whole series of pre-built dashboards what we call in SharePoint terminology views so if I go back to the Stratix framework you can see that I've got here my all items view if I open that up we can see we have a long list of items that show me all the items in the framework or if I simply want to see my line of sight items so for example I might want to see what objectives are in my line of sight I which are the objectives that I'm accountable for and we can see those here you see the status you can edit them if you wish you see the long name accountables if there was someone responsible they would appear here and then we can see some data about those items if I want to view um, my indicators or my line of sight indicators same kind of thing again I can see those indicators grouped by indicator type other KPIs KCIs etc and I might actually decide that I want to view those I want to view only my only my read indicators for example and we get a list of those so these are just a very simple way of uh, viewing your data at any, at any level you can view the item commentary around that item um, and it's very fast to look at and of course using SharePoint functionality and again if you've got the right security permissions you have a range of capabilities here uh, you can modify the view you can create new views using SharePoint functionality so to create your own dashboards and you can also do things like export to Excel so that concludes our brief introduction to Stratix Live during which we looked at how you signed up to the system using simply one e your email address clicking submit I showed you how you define your strategy and risk framework using the Stratex framework and that can be visualized and navigated using the navigator data both the indicated data risk data controls etc can be updated using the Stratex update and that data can be visualized using strategy maps risk maps and other dashboards Thank you.